Hello, and in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your VPN server in OpenVPN DDWRT. So your VPN service provides different countries from which you can simulate that you're connected from. In this case, I'm looking at private internet access, and they have a list of servers. What you need to do is look into the country that you want to be in and take the server name for that country. In this case, if it were Netherlands, I'd be wanting to copy this VPN server name. Here, I've also got pure VPNs list, which is slightly different. Here you can see that if you're using OpenVPN, you need to choose from these two columns compared to this column here, PPT, L2TP, etc. So pick the right server name for OpenVPN from your service provider. Now head over to your modem. Now normally the IP address is 192.168.1.1 but in my configurations it's 222.1. When the page loads head over to services, head over to VPN and at this stage it might ask you for your username and password. The default password that I set the modems to is admin admin. Then in this box here under the OpenVPN section in the server IP name, just paste the address of your VPN server. If you need to change your username and password, those details are located here. So if you needed to change your password for any reason, you would have an account, whatever it might be, and then you would have whatever password it would be. Once you've done that, hit the Save button here at the bottom of the screen. Once it's saved, I'm going to close in that request to save the password. Once it's saved, also hit Apply Settings. Once you've done that, it's now going to save and connect to your new VPN service. As a second part to this video, by default, the wireless on DDWRT is an open access point. So you might want to go into the wireless settings and here you can change the name of your Wi-Fi access point, whatever you would like to call it. And then, once again, you need to click on Save. And then head over to Wireless Security. And to protect your wireless with a password from this list, you should choose WPA2 Personal. And on this list, for better encryption, the TKIP AES. And then set your password for your Wi-Fi. It needs to be a minimum of eight letters, I believe. So once you've set your password, again, you hit Save. And then Apply Settings. And that will change your Wi-Fi and your wireless uh, password for your DDWRT. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care.